Hey everybody out there. After 16 years of having freshwater tanks, I finally decided to do a saltwater tank. And um, this is the first 10 gallon. I had two Picos, which are, they're so small I can't even call them really having tanks. But this is a 10 gallon. And just wanted to tell you what I've found so far in the mere week and a half that I've had it going up, uh, running, up and running. You need a protein skimmer. It's in the back right corner. That's a BioCube Nano Protein Skimmer. And I'll show y'all. There's several videos out there on whether they work, whether they don't work. So far, I love mine. It's doing a lot considering that there's nothing in the tank. But uh, it's 10 gallon salt water. Like I said, there's three big live rocks. Y'all can see them. The one in the middle was established for a while. The other two were live, but not a whole lot of coralline or anything growing on them. But that's about 15 pounds of live rock. The substrate's half, um, what, 50 50 Carib Sea. Aragonite and the other half's oyster shell. Uh, and then you can see in the back got a little bit of chato going just to see how that goes and macroalgae and then down there in the bottom uh, left is some scroll algae. But for waste export, the back, this filter is a hang off the back. I don't know what everybody thinks about hang off the backs, but as long as you take everything out of them. The filters out for right now for the time being and just have those two uh, blue ones that come with it this is a aquatech 3060 it's huge if this were a freshwater but it's not and then then on the um, that side that's seachem purgen the other side is seachem hoop resorb to get rid of any copper and then the little green pad on the right is a phosphate removing pad and the other one this white one right there is polyfilter pad so that's what we're going to have for nutrient export or waste export and even with that running like that for a week had this up for like two days this is our protein skimmer and that it pulls that much off and the only thing i have been feeding this tank it's just a little bit of um, marine snow for food for the inverts. There's all kind of little stuff going in there. But if I can, I'm going to pull that off and see if I can put it in a clear glass to show you all what it looks like. Now I know it's pretty wet still, so this isn't super expensive high dollar skimmer, but And get our camera to focus. There we go. And this isn't an empty tank, so it's doing a really good job, even with all the other things I have to quote clean the water. So that's what I've learned so far. Protein skimmers are your friend, even if they're cheap ones. But that's it for the 10 gallon. Here we get some corals, a few other things and some macros going in there and then eventually maybe one or two little fish that's it so far and everything's happy parameters are happy everything likes seems to like the substrate pretty well but we're only a week and a half in i just wanted to have a short vid bye